Hello and welcome back once again to the Klebco Computer Craft Tutorials. Uh, last time we were going over automated crafting, so we showed all of these automated crafting tables, and also we showed how you can monitor automated crafting by using turtles as the containers that hold the, the stone and redstone torches, all of your supplies, and then using those turtles to communicate with a master server to have a little list that will show you how your crafting sessions are doing. So what we were going to go over today is a little bit high level. Uh, we're going to go over the code uh, uh, that runs these turtles in this master computer. So if you're not ready for that, you might want to wait for the next one. I've had a lot of people asking, you know, what are the basics of computer craft? And so the next couple uh, episodes are going to be just back to basics, how to make computers, uh, how to get around in the operating system, and how to do simple, uh, simple statements. So, but for right now, let's go ahead and, and look at this one last time. So we were talking about last time how you can look at this status panel to see what is, what's wrong. So right now we see there's no stone, there's almost no iron, no stone, no wood. So knowing that, we can get some stone throw it in there we know that we're missing some iron here so we'll throw some of that in there we're missing some wood here we'll put some wood in and the last one over here that makes the actual computers we're missing some stone also so let's go ahead and watch this for a little bit and while while we're watching it oh, it was already turned on uh, while that's going we're going to see some of these ups updates so we saw the wood just jump up to 50 uh, stone has been used already that's amazing it was used very quickly uh, but the good thing is that should have made us some more modems so we should see the modems jump up pretty soon here too it may take them a little while to go through the transport pipes so we used up the hundred and something stone almost instantly and the modems jumped from 16 to 25 so let's see what's going on here um, so we had put some stone, some glass panel, and redstone in here, and I, I split them up for a purpose. The reason is right now the program is pretty simple. I'll show you how the program works, in fact. Let me just terminate this one with Control t ls to show the listing. And the program I'm using is WL Count Inventory. And startup, what that does right now is it just runs WL Count Inventory shell.run wl count inventory. So if you want something to start when you first start your server, you need that startup startup program. So the wl count inventory is actually very simple. So all it does is it opens up the modem. And then it has two variables. This one is going to keep track of the slot because the turtle has 9 slots and we want to go through all 9 of them. And then we're going to loop through over and over again and here's the while true, so it just keeps on doing this forever, and we receive a rednet request or a rednet message. And the only one that we're interested in is if this gets a message called inventory request, then we just go starting with slot number one. Uh, we st set inventory to zero, so we say it has nothing in it, and then we go from one to nine, and we get the inventory turtle get item count of that slot and we add it to the inventory. So inventory starts off at zero, then it goes to slot one and it gets the count and adds it. Then it goes to slot two, it gets the count and adds it and it does that to all nine slots. And so once it's gone through all nine slots, it sends back a message to the whoever sent the request, so the sender ID. We got the sender ID up here when we actually got the message here. And we take that sender ID and we send a message only to them telling them the inventory. So that's all that there is to it. We just have all of these turtles and they're listening for that uh, the inventory uh, status message. And once they get that, they just send a number back to this computer. So that's very simple. That's how the, the uh, turtles here, the chests work. And let's look in to see how this works. So I'm going to terminate this. And the startup here is just running crafting display just like before display and again we're opening up the modem here modem side and we're taking this monitor so this peripheral dot wrap right all that's doing is saying there's a peripheral to our right so on the right of the box and we want to take that and and use that as our monitor so we're putting that in the monitor variable 
Now here I want to make this display really nice. So what I tried to do is I just made a list. This is a list or array in here. And there's different text strings in each of these. So the text string for one is wireless turtle. Uh, wireless turtle, the text string for two is turtle, iron, computer. And I tried to format it so that it would be lining, lined up nicely. And then each of these, uh, wireless turtle, turtle, iron. Now there's different, um, there's different turtles that each of these are for. So for example, this stone here is this guy right here. This is where we make the red, uh, the wireless modems and stone. So if you look here, you see the stone that's being used for the modem is the very last one on the list. And these display IDs correspond with these text strings up here. So the last one on the list is stone, and the last one on this list is 87. So if we go over here and we hit Control T and type in ID, we see that this computer is 87. And ID is a program that comes with comes standard with all of the computer craft stuff. So we'll start that back up. So we know 87 is this one right here, the stone. And what this program is going to do very simply is it's going to go through each of these numbers. So it's going to start at the first in the list and the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And I got the IDs by going to each of these computers and running the ID command. So I'm going to terminate again, control T. And uh, let me turn off Matmos. And then, uh, so ID. So 86. That's how you can get the ID. You can also get it in Lua. If you go Lua and then you do, I think it's OS computer ID 86. So there's both, those are both ways to do it. It's easier, I think, just to type in ID. So once you get all the list of the, the turtles that you want to monitor, you put them here. And then this is also pretty simple. It's, this is, uh, this is all it is. So we're doing another loop. And we're getting the index and the, the value in the display IDs, which is that first list here. So we're getting index is 1, 97. So the index is basically just in this list. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. So we're getting the index and then the value. And then what we do is we send to the computer ID that we got from this list a message called inventory request. And that's the exact message that the turtles are looking for. And then we wait for a message back from them. We wait only for two seconds. It shouldn't take very long. And we're trying to get back. They're going to send back just the number. And we saw that earlier, just the how much inventory they have. And then all we do is we go to the line that we had set for, uh, for this. So of, of course, the index was 1 for the first one. It's going to be 2 for the second one. So we're going to x of 1, which is all the way on the left. And then one through, I think, uh, I don't know, I have maybe 12 monitors here. So it's going to go to one, one for the first one, go to one, two for the second one. And first we write that little cursor to show that this is the one we're updating. And then we go back. Uh, we don't want to write after it. We want to write over it. And then we wait for one second because I don't want to update everything too quickly. We clear that line and erase it so that that line is no longer there. And then we just write the display string which you saw above, and then the message that we got back. So basically, it's going to write this string here. For the first one, it's going to write wireless turtle. And then after it writes wireless turtle, it's going to write the message we got back, which should be the amount of wireless turtles we have. And if we didn't get a message back, if we didn't get a sender ID, if we didn't get a message, then we just put a question mark because we don't know how many the inventory is. Then after it does all of those, after it goes through every turtle in the list, it sleeps for five seconds and it starts again. So that's it. That's the whole program. Um, again, it just goes through each of these numbers, grabs, it asks for the uh, inventory, and once it gets it back, it prints out this string with the number afterwards. So that's it. That's all you have to do. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this code up in the comments. I made a, an easy to uh, access Google Sites site. Uh, just to throw things up here, it's not very professionally done, uh, but uh, it should have everything. Now, again, so the next few videos are going to be some tutorials on the basics. So if you don't know the basics and you see some of the stuff and you like it and you want to run some of your own programs, but you want to know the basics, uh, stay tuned for those next programs. And until then, happy computing.